Welcome everybody and in today's video I'm doing something a little bit different and a little bit of fun. I'm taking the Minecraft paintings from the actual game itself and I'm going to be bringing a couple of these paintings to life. Minecraft have just released their latest version 1.21 and with this latest version are 20 brand new artworks. I picked a couple of them that looked really really interesting that looked kind of authentic to the game like this first one is very very iconic to the game because it's two villages it's two characters from within the game the painting I do later is just something that looks like an oil painting and I wanted to do my interpretation of that painting so you know stick around and let's have fun with this this thing and by the way I feel like I should say this if I say the word fun so many times in this video it should almost be a drinking game because I've said it so many times and guess what I'm probably gonna say it more I don't know Art is fun to me and you know that's kind of just how I express myself and I'm definitely having fun with this piece. I started with alcohol markers. I wanted to get a nice base down. It's very very easy to get these beautiful vibrant colors with alcohol markers. You know I can get the nice sky down so it's just really filled in so I don't have to worry about you know too much detail just yet. The background, I've got the characters, you know. Alcohol markers are a very very quick medium. They're a very good medium because I can get the color down really, really easily and make it start to look like the actual picture that it's supposed to be looking like. But I can also keep layering them. You know, what you see here is not necessarily the values I'm going with for the actual end piece. I will just keep building the color up as I go. I will be putting more layers of marker down, more layers of pencil or some layers of pencil over the top. And I'll just keep working until the piece looks like what I want it to look like and obviously that's hopefully to resemble the actual in-game artwork from Minecraft. I kind of changed my approach to this one when I actually after I actually started doing it I was originally going to try to take the actual picture of the two villages in the painting and try to create a realism like a real world realism so they'd have round features round heads you know normal eyes but like still keep the bright green but I was kind of told that those features are pretty iconic to the game. You kind of can't move away from it too much because the moment you move away from it, it's not going to actually look like the painting that I'm trying to replicate. So for this piece, once I kind of started getting the actual shapes down, I started to realize oh, I'm just going to keep going with it. And I continued with the block by block kind of approach. And I actually don't think that's too bad. I actually kind of had fun with that. And I do, and I said the word fun again, I do kind of later on in the second picture do something a little bit different because I wanted to create something a little bit, I don't know, I don't want to just do it perfectly to the actual Minecraft. I want to put something a little bit of me in there and put something a little bit artistic. So I do that in the later picture. But this picture definitely is all about just building up those colors and trying to, you know, look at my reference photo, see what is actually really important to the picture, kind of see the little shadings, because what they would do, they'll have all these little tiny boxes, but each box is part of the actual character. Like it actually does create some depth to the picture. They use those colors to really create depth in a very smart way. So you'll see like one side of the face has a little bit more shading and the bottom half of the face is a bit more shading because it would be a shadow if it was a real person. Hi Maze, yes, she is always here. Let me know in the comments, what does your animal do when you're trying to draw and paint? Like she constantly is trying to do things like steal my kneadable eraser. She wants to eat it. Well, I don't know if she wants to eat it. She just wants to play with it, but that's the thing she goes for a lot. And she loves color pencils. So the wood, the, the smell is something that she really, really likes. And she likes to actually rub her head on them, but. I just move it to the side when she gets in the way and luckily for me she only seems to jump on my desk when it's a dry medium. I have used some very very wet probably some toxic mediums at times like resin and oil paints. I did you know a lot of fluid painting. She never once jumps on my desk when I do any of those things. I'm very very lucky for that. I've mentioned on this channel before my mental health issues and that's a lot of the reason I do art and I've got to say my cats are a huge part of that therapy too. Okay, to explain what I just did there, I actually picked up the wrong marker. I picked up one of the more shadow tanny colors and I put it over the eyebrow. I was like panicking. The thing about markers though, alcohol markers is, 
if you actually let it dry, it, mostly if you do let it dry, you can do it when it's still wet. You can actually go over with a lighter value and you can actually remove a lot of the color. You can kind of bleach it back. It is better to let it dry, like I said, but kind of in panic mode, I'm just like, I'm so many hours in, I'm like, I need to save this. And I mostly got it picked up. There was a little bit of the darker color still, probably again, because I didn't let it dry when I was supposed to, which is just more effective. And I also used a lot of the color pencil, so to make it look a bit better, to kind of blend it in a bit more. Now onto the second painting. I chose this one specifically because it has this beautiful, grand oil painting feel to it. And I chose to use pastel pencils for this one. I had previously used these in a review on another video. I'd only used them a couple times. They're still a very, very new medium to me. So there's a lot of learning for me. And I wanted to do this painting because I could only do a few paintings from the actual Minecraft collection. There's 20 brand new paintings in Minecraft 1.21. That's a lot of paintings. And the first painting that I did already in this video took me hours and hours and hours just to get that right. This one is a bit quicker. It's a very, very fast medium to use, but it still took, it still takes a long time. So I wanted to kind of try to do something, firstly, very, very Minecrafty, which is the first one it obviously is. You see it and you, you think Minecraft, but this one is completely different. It just looks like a painting that is beautiful. It would be hanging on a nice chateau in France. There's a woman, she's sitting in a valley. There's beautiful mountains. There's a tree, there's a sky. I think she's like just kneeling at the riverside. I can't be sure because there's not a lot of detail, but it looks like there's a reflection of her skirt. And then there's a dead body in front of her, a skeleton. It's like, what? That's a complete contrast. And I thought that was actually really, really fun and cool. Cause it's, I don't know. I mean, like I love oil paintings. I love the traditional thing, but there's a little bit of a sense of humor to this one. And I really, really appreciate that. I love sarcasm, you know, I am somebody that is all about being sarcastic and this piece is completely about sarcasm. It's almost a oxymoron because of everything that she's about. She just looks very, very soft, which is why I use the pastel pencils. Like it's just, it's just, I don't know, it's just soft and she looks beautiful and then there's this, there's this corpse. Is it her, is it someone she knows? Is it, you know, what's the story? And I guess because it's a painting, we can all to interpret it the way we want to interpret it. Maybe it's a lost love. Tell me in the comments what you think this picture is all about. Who the corpse is. Is it her former lover? Is it someone she murdered? You know, she paying her respects to them. You know, there's so many stories we can make out of this and be kind of cool just to keep making up stories. And, you know, I'd love to hear what you all think. Let's see what the most wild conspiracy theory we can think about for this picture. Let's, let's, let's do something a bit juicy. I mean, mine's just, hey, it's her former lover. I bet you can come up with far better things. Like she has to have murdered him. Maybe that's why she's got the red skirt. That's like a metaphor for, you know, for that passion of love and, you know, blood of the murder. You know, she's Lady Macbeth. I don't know. Tell me your thoughts. Okay. I gotta say, I was just doing the clouds and I hate clouds. It doesn't matter what medium I'm doing them in. It can be oil painting. Clouds suck. I suck at them and I always do them wrong and I always have to re-redo them a million times. Pencil? Yep, I hate clouds. Alcohol markers? Yeah, still hate clouds. They still always come out really, really terribly and then I can't really fix them properly. And guess what? Pastels? It turns out they are no different. I still suck at clouds. And I had so much trouble with these clouds and like I've got a little bit of a shape there and I go in later on and I end up having to try to fix them with markers and like paint markers and I even pull out my oil pastels at the end because I just cannot get clouds right. We we all have that, that thing that we can't paint and clouds are one of the things that I'm just really terrible at. Actually the other thing I don't do well at is faces on a side portrait a side profile which hey oops this picture's got that too so but you know what this is all a challenge it was all just it's just I don't know it's just playing around and with some art supplies and I love this challenge and I actually really liked doing this piece specifically because I got to think outside of the, my imagination I got to be a little bring a little bit of me into it and that's like the perfect thing so I can't complain out of the two pieces, the one I actually probably enjoyed the most was actually the first one, not because 
I didn't like this one. I actually really enjoyed that the whole sarcasm, the whole funniness of this painting. But the other one, technique-wise, I really love using alcohol markers, and I love how you can just keep layering them. And I want to get better with alcohol markers, and I don't do a lot of alcohol markers work with pencil. Like, I don't do that as a mixed media very much, so I got to do that, and it was a lot of fun. This piece, like I said, it, it's just... There's a humor to it, and I really, really appreciate that. I think it looks okay in the end. I couldn't get her face. It's a little bit off, but you know what? It's just a fun piece. So I am actually delighted that I got to use my pastel pencils again because every single time I use them, I'm going to get a little bit better with them. I'm still not great. I had issues with the blending of the blues, but in general, I really like pastel pencils and I really enjoy using them. That is all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's time for the reveals. Tell me what you think. How do you think I went with these paintings or recreations of these paintings from Minecraft 1.21? If you like this content, don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. See you next time. Bye.